things suddenly became a little more Christmassy. This year's Christmas show at the stables is a Christmas tale devised and created by award-winning street theatre company Dizzy O'Dare. It runs from December the 17th to December the 24th. And as always, with Christmas shows at the stables, it'll be a mix of your traditional Christmas joy and bags of originality, creativity and fun. I spoke to Mike and Alana from Dizzy O'Dare and put it to Mike that knowing the stables' love of doing things a little differently, they were the perfect choice for creating this year's festive special. That's very nice of you to say. I, I'd like to think so. I think we have this, we've, we've been making work for, oh, wow, was it 20 years, 15 years? And mm. we've done a lot of public facing, street theater, circus, comedy. And, and we, I think we genuinely love our audience. We yeah. want our audience to have the best possible time. And, and if they're having a good time, we're having a good time, it reciprocates. And so we, I, I I think I'm speaking for all of us at Dizzy or Dare when I say we're, we're just really excited to share a good time and infuse, uh, maybe even inspire some of the audience mm. to have a good time with us. This is a device show. My understanding of that is that you're kind of not just regurgitating well-trodden old stories and, and it's something that you, you create together. Is is that a fairly good description? Yeah, I think that's, that's pretty accurate. Um, you know, there's uh, someone said there's maybe seven story tropes. So to say you were creating something totally new, I think that's maybe impossible. Everything's been done before. But what we're doing is we're doing a new story. New, we're putting our characters, we're doing it our way. Yeah. We, it's our script. We're not using a pre-written script or story. Um, so we're creating something that we think resonates with us, with our audience, with the time, with where we're performing it. Yeah. Uh, and so it's new. It's, it's going to be our humor and our fun. And what we think or what we hope the audience will really enjoy and, and resonate with. What's your starting point? You mentioned that the seven tropes there, there may well be fewer than that, but, but what was your starting point? Oh, well, we made, uh, we made a street show called Kevin Tickles Dogs. Right. And it was a joke about dog shows like Crufts. Yeah. Where I was a host, Alana was a Norfolk Terrier. <laughs> right. And we had a, a bloodhound and we had a... a a poodle, a princess poodle. Yeah. And it was a lot of fun. And Milton Keynes, uh, the festival there, yeah. International Festival, they supported that. And I think they fell in love with it a little bit and the mischief yeah. and the chaos of it. So they asked us if we would consider making a Christmas show. And we said, well, there was a, we created a lot of material for that show, which didn't get used. Right. It, it didn't fit into the street theater immediate interaction. It was something a bit more theatrical a bit more playful. And we thought that would be the great foundation for a Christmas story. So we took all that fun and we've, we've ju used that as a jumping off point. So this is in effect a premiere. This has not been seen elsewhere before. No, no, it's brand new. Yeah. Brand new. I, I want to hear a little bit about this little puppy. Um, the, the, the show has the word tail in the title, spelled T-A-I-L. So it doesn't take a huge leap of, uh, of uh, forensic judgment to work out what it's about. So there's a little puppy. Um, tell me a little bit about the story. And perhaps you could, you could introduce a, a song from the show so we can get a little sense of what you're doing. So, um, so we, we meet our protagonist of the story, which is a small puppy. And uh, during a big storm, puppy and owner get, uh, get separated and the puppy has to go on a few little adventures to get home for Christmas. Sounds gorgeous. And, and the music is all created specially for the show, Mike. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. We've written a few songs already. Some of them are adaptions of classic Christmas songs where we've changed uh, words and phrasings a bit. We've written a, a song. It's, it's unique to the show. It's our music um, about the villains in the show who yeah. are trying to track down the dog. Yeah. Uh, currently, it is called the Parrot and the Turkey. Who are the villains? But, well, there are these three or four kind of Christmas alternative characters. Right. Hence, currently, it's a turkey, it's a reindeer. <laughs> um, and they're trying to track down this dog. And I should just say, this recording, this, this, is, this is taken from rehearsals, isn't it? Yeah, this is a rehearsal recording. Uh, when we first put the song together, we did a little brainstorm what the lyrics would be. And then we went, let's just record it, let's do it. And this is that recording. And the turkey, the penguin and reindeer Hold on to your cats and dogs whenever they are near They're terrible, they're horrible, nasty and grotesque All the things you shouldn't do, they think they are the best 
They'll steal your nana's false teeth They'll even steal her leg They'll swing it round and round the head And replace it with a peg They'll steal your mummy's sugar And replace it all with salt And when she spits out her food They'll say it was your fault The parrot and the turkey The penguin and reindeer Hold on to your cats and dogs Whenever they are near The terrible, the horrible Nasty and grotesque All the things you shouldn't do They think they are the best They stole all the cardigans Local charity shop They left your fridge door open So your milk began to rot They ate all your cookies So you couldn't have a snack They stole all your toys They'll never give them back The parrot and the turkey Penguin and reindeer Hold on to your cats and dogs Whenever they are near The terrible, the horrible The nasty and grotesque All the things you shouldn't do They think they are the best Stole your daddy's toupee They replaced it with a cat It wouldn't stay on his head So he had to wear a hat They changed the Wi-Fi password So you couldn't get online They changed it to 836-884-9662 JJMK underscore 7 72449 <laughs> <laughs> The parrot and the turkey The penguin and reindeer Hold on to your cats and dogs Whenever they are near They're terrible, they're horrible They're nasty and grotesque All the things you shouldn't do They think they are the best It's a lovely little taster there of the show to come. Um, and I guess it's also important for us, uh, Alana and Mike, to, to really give a sense to, to our listeners as to what to expect from this show. However, here we are. Well, what's the date today? We're recording this on Thursday, the 7th of November. So you've got like six weeks to go until the show. And because it's a devised piece, I think it's fair to say, isn't it, that, that quite a lot, well, can I say quite a lot, a fair amount is still up in the air. And, and that's how you work, isn't it? Yeah, um, it is a devised show. We've got a lot of ideas already yeah. and we've workshopped a fair bit of it, but it's all up to change. We're drawing on the skills of our four performers. Some have some circus skills, some have some music skills. All of us are physical and clowny. Um, so it's, it's a real mix of, of what's going to be in the show. It's all about fun and it's all about engagement. Um, and as to what the actual content will be, the final content, we don't know yet. Really? You're still yeah. working on it? It's exciting, isn't it? I think this sounds uh, absolutely brilliant. Uh, you've got such a heritage, and as you rightly say, you've got a heritage with uh, uh, IF, uh, Milton Keynes International Festival as well. Uh, so I think lots of people will have seen you previously. And I personally love this notion that you're you're still working on the concepts and you're you're, you're easing towards uh, launch date, which is, let me just double check here, the, the 17th of, of December. Uh, I think it's going to be a, a treat for, for young and old alike. And, and I really hope that our listeners uh, come and enjoy it. Uh, tickets also are, are very, very reasonably priced. And it runs from the 17th of December through until the 24th so it's on for a week and there are 11am performances 4.30 performances um, 1.30 performances uh, I think uh, on certain days and 2.30 as well so it really is very very flexible though in terms of your ability to, to find a yeah. right time to, to, to go and see it go and on Alana tickets are selling fast too they, 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 they really are and I'm just looking here mm. at, at a couple of random dates and, and a couple of them are, are looking already very very tight mm. so um, mm. if you want to pop along tickets on sale at Stable org, or you can call the box office on 01908 280 800 and if you want a little bit more of a sense of uh, the uh, the chaos slash uh, organised uh, chaos that will be happening on stage uh, go and have a look at uh, your website which we can find where? www.dizzyodare.com www really nice to have chatted to both of you uh, and good luck in the next six weeks ahead of uh, arriving at the stables on the 17th right thank, thank you, you.